Today we'll be having a tutorial on how to uh, bleed your nut bricks. Firstly, you need your mineral oil, preferably from Shimano or Tektro because they're essentially the same. Size 4 Allen key, size 5 Allen key, size 3 Allen key. Essential item would be your brick block, a T15 Allen key, a syringe for your lever, a syringe preferably pre-filled with your, your mineral oil for your caliper. Okay, step one, you need to loosen your brick lever. Make sure it is almost parallel to the ground. Tighten it back. You're using a size 4 Allen key. Next, take your T15. Loosen the bleed port on the lever. For the bleed port, make sure you keep in a very secure place where you can see because if you were to lose it, uh, you need to buy a new lever. Get your lever syringe, screw mm. it into your bleed port. Step 2, take your size 5 Allen key, loosen the two brake screws. And it will set your caliper free. To remove your brake screws, take the whole brake assembly out, your brake block, squeeze it in in between your brake pads. Take your T15, and as you can see, the bleed port for your caliper will be here as shown you will need to remove it. Once you are at this stage, it will be slightly messy. You can go ahead and insert your bleeding kit. After installing your bleeding kit to your caliper, you have to make sure the oil doesn't leak towards the brake pads as oil that contaminates the brake pads will not give you an efficient braking. Once that is done, you can go ahead and transfer your mineral oil from your caliper all the way up to your lever. The reason why we are transferring from the caliper which is lower to the lever which is higher is because the air bubbles are lighter than the mineral oil. We go ahead and transfer. We have now successfully transferred some oil from the caliper to the lever. Now we go ahead and remove the caliper's bleeding kit. At this point of time, it is wise to have ready tissue because things will get messy. Go ahead and close it back. and wipe off excess mineral oil. Once this is done, remove your brake block. Visually check your brake pads. There's a gap, you're good to go. Now we go ahead and put back the caliper to the mount. Use your size 5 Allen keys, secure and tighten your brake bolts. Final step would be checking your modulation of your levers. Keep pressing your lever blade till you have a certain compression. For this part, We'll be using a syringe and some prefer to use a bleeding cup. It's personal preference. Once you're clear from any air bubbles, we can go ahead and remove your lever's bleeding kit.
and replace with the bleeding cap. Tighten it, but not too tight. Double check the compression. Good to go. Take your size 4. Adjust your lever back to your desired position. And you're done.